The Confessions of Saint Augustine, Book 1, Chapter 1 Great are you, O Lord, and greatly to be praised. Great is your power and your wisdom infinite. And you would man praise man, but a particle of your creation, man that bears about him his mortality, the witness of his sin, the witness that you resist the proud. Yet, would man praise you, he, but a particle of your creation? You awake us to delight in your praise, for you made us for yourself, and our heart is restless until it repose in you. Grant me, Lord, to know and understand which is first, to call on you or to praise you, and again to know you or to call on you, for who, ha for who can talk, for who can call on you, not knowing you? For he that comes, for he that knows you not, may call on you as other than you are. Or is it rather that we call on you, that we may know you? But how shall they call on you? him in whom they have not believed? Or how shall they believe without a preacher? And they that seek the Lord shall praise him. For they that seek shall find him, and they that find shall praise him. I will seek you, Lord, by calling on you, and will call on you, believing in you. For to us have you been preached. My faith, Lord, shall call on you, which you have given me, wherewith you have inspired me, through the incarnation of your Son, through the ministry of the preacher. Chapter 2 And how shall I call upon my God, my God and Lord, since when I call on him, I shall be calling him to myself. And what room is there within me, whither my God can come into me? Whither can God come into me, God who made heaven and earth? Is there indeed, O Lord my God, art in me that can contain you? Do then heaven and earth, which you have made, and wherein you have made me, contain you? Or because nothing which exists could exist without you, does therefore whatever exists contain you? Since then I do exist, why do I seek that you should enter into me who were not? Were you not in me? Why? Because I am not gone down in hell, and yet you are there also. For I go down into hell, you are there. I could not be then, O oh my God, could not be at all. Are you not in me, or rather, unless I were in you, of whom are all things, by whom are all things, in whom are all things? Even so, Lord, even so. Whether do I call you since I am in you? Or whence can you enter into me? For whither can I go beyond heaven and earth, that thence my God should come into me, who has said, I feel the heaven and the earth. Chapter 3 Do the heaven and earth then contain you, since you feel them? Or do you feel them and yet overflow, since 
they do not contain you? And whither, when the heaven and the earth are filled, pour you forth the remainder of yourself? Or have you no need that art contain you, who contains all things, since what you feel, you feel by containing it? For the vessels which you feel uphold you not, since though they were broken, you were not poured out. And when you are poured out on us, you are not cast down, but you uplift us. You are not dissipated, but you gather us. But you who feel all things, fill you them with your whole self. Or since all things can contain you wholly, do they contain part of you, and all at once the same part, or each its own part, the greater more, the smaller less? And is then one part of you greater, another less? Or are you wholly very well? Or are you wholly every where, while nothing contains you wholly?